Welcome to BDSP, and it's time for us to find unknown. And not just one unknown, but all of the different versions. So to begin with, I recommend bringing along, if you have them, or access to them, should I say, uh, a series of quick balls. Um, I haven't had a single one of these fail. I'm remiss to call this 100% catch rate, but I have caught a lot of them. So I, I do recommend bringing a quick ball um, and potentially some escape ropes as well are going to be somewhat useful to you. Um, just as you're going to be wanting to exit different areas of the room that we're going to be going into. Just so that you guys can see where we are on the map then, we are currently in Salacion Town. Fly here or make your way to the uh, Pokemon Center just here and then we can go on our merry way. So you're going to want to come to the top of the town. Obviously you can come across this way if you really wish to. And then across to the end. Once you obviously reach the end we can head down and then uh, down to here past the trees and into the cave. Now, if you just want one uh, unknown, just run around in here and eventually you'll find one. Now what I've done in here is <clears throat> ordered all of the uh, unknown here in alphabetical order. So this is A, this is Z. Uh, I've done this because this makes it a little bit easier to just keep track of which ones you have and it is the alphabetical ones that we can in fact find in this cave. Now some of them are in specific places and some of them are um, RNG based. So we'll do the specific ones first as they make a word, which is friend, F-R-I-E-N-D. So the first one then uh, we can find when we go down the uh, the steps just here. I'll skip to having a battle. Uh, basically the way this is going to work is in each of the rooms where you want to start catching your unknown, you're going to want to run in circles as quickly as you can. That was nice and, nice and easy there. So once we encounter ourselves an F unknown in this first room, we're going to go over to our quick balls throw it out there, and we'll have ourselves our first unknown. So with F caught, I'm not going to continue uh, encountering them. Instead, we'll go through a series of rooms and I'll tell you which unknown you can catch in each room. So we just caught F, uh, go down the bottom left stairs in this room with the adventurer here, you're going to be able to find R, then you want to exit through the stairs on the top right, in this room, we're around circles to get I, and then we're going to want to go down the top left. In this room, you'll get E. From here, you want to go through the top left. In this room, you'll be able to get N, then you want to go through into the bottom left, which is actually the final room if you uh, followed my walkthrough. In here, you'll have some items, and in here, you can get D. We've got Friend now, which is the first few that we can collect. And then what you're going to want to do is the boring bit, and this is the part that takes the most amount of time here, is just find yourself a room, any of the rooms that we haven't already visited, run around in circles, and you'll get uh, the rest of them via RNG. So you'll know that you've got them all when you have 26 unique unknown. Uh, I would recommend probably pausing the video here, it's going to take a while. Once you've got them all, we can continue on with the next part. I'm going to escape rope out, and I'll meet you guys in a second. Okay then, so once you've made your exit out of the Salacion Ruins, you're going to want to fly to Veilstone City. Obviously we're currently outside the Pokemon Center, but we're just going to be heading south. Um, literally directly south, uh, straight through the gatehouse here, and we're going to head down until we get to the cave. So literally, all I've done is press down, you can see I pretty much hit this rock here, but we're just going to turn left into the cave. And then pretty much the same thing, we're just going to head, basically head left until we meet the Ruined Maniac. Once you see the end, uh, once you've reached the end, should I say, uh, you'll see that the Ruin Maniac has moved. Just in case he hasn't moved for you, I'll bring up the list again right here. Try not to have anything covering it. Just check that you've got all 26 letters. If you don't have all 26 letters, he won't have moved. Just like final double check there. Uh, once he has moved, we can head straight in here. Uh, same method again. Run around in circles um, and you'll be able to encounter the last two unknown that you'll need to get all of them. And the last two in this room being the question mark and the exclamation mark. Way quicker than the uh, than the previous ones. The 20... Yeah, literally 20 that you have to get in the other rooms were... It, it was a nightmare. It took forever. Uh, once you've got all of the unknown, then you're going to want to leave via the south exit here. Uh, and then when you go up on this ledge, nothing to pick up here. So literally just fly out to any, any way you wish to. If you want to get yourself a prize for collecting all of the different unknown, what you want to do is come back to Salacion Town and head back along the northern route that we had before. Obviously this was the way to the cave. Come back left one lane, I guess you might call it. And come in here to speak to the child that is in here. 
Now, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, this child can in fact um, appear in the ruins if um, if yours isn't here, then go ahead into the ruins and he'll be in like the first room where you first started catching unknown. So anyway, he'll want to see um, your unknown, show him all of the different unknown, and he'll give you a bunch of ball capsules. And that is everything that I know of that we can do with the unknown. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.